it's BFF Life and today we're going to be doing a DIY. Die. I can't die but it's DIY pop food. food. Um, as you can see we are not in our bed, my bedroom today, we are in my kitchen. So today we're going to be making something. We're going to make a delicious Easter fudge. So basically we're making fudge and all you need here is four ingredients. The ingredients you need are a lot of white chocolate, some vanilla extract, milk, some vanilla, and some condensed milk. I have condensed milks over there. Yeah. In the we'll show you that in a minute. But so, by the way, it's a really hard thing to find. We spent uh, like an hour looking for condensed milk. Yeah, just we were in Asda. It's the England like shop. Yeah. It's not Walmart, okay? It's and we went through every single aisle, and the last aisle was the one we even went to Aldi, we went to Poundland. We don't know why. I didn't think it was going to go to Poundland though, because it's quite a. I don't know. Anyway, look, all you need is four ingredients, as you can see, and this is literally the easiest recipe ever. We're actually making cupcake versions of the fudge, mm -hmm. and we can't wait because it's going to look really cool. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you've got to start off by opening the white chocolate. Can we eat a bit? Yeah, I'm gonna leave a uh, three three pieces left of each one. So, oh wait, it's a bar of four, so we're both gonna have four bits each. Yay! <laughs> I can snap hard. it. So basically, I'll snap it <laughs> and then put it into the bowl. We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> so this is actually a Pinterest recipe. We saw it on Pinterest. So break it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so basically, we put both two bars uh, minus eight pieces because we ate them. <laughs> a new bowl because them two bowls were too small and oh by the record we did wash our hands even though mine don't look washed yeah um so yeah it's only because we touched our thing yummy we are now going to add the what's it called condensed condensed milk, milk. <laughs> da, 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 da. i do use this i'm gonna hold it <laughs> Keep on going. How do you get it off? Keep on going till it's done. Stop it. What? We're taking for these guys. That was a lot. <laughs> that was really hard work. Okay, so now I just going to pour a bit in. Can I pour a bit in? Yeah. So we're not going to pour it all. We're going to pour most of the things. It feels really cool when it's going out. It feels like it's quite a thick texture. Da, 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 da. Is that all of it? No, it's all that's left. Okay, put some more in. This looks so cool. <laughs> It tastes like something like white chocolate. We're scared to taste it and then we'll taste finished. it. <laughs> okay. Down in. Uh, I think we're actually doing something right, guys. Yeah, normally our DIYs go really bad. So I'm mean, using this spatula spoony thing. Yeah, we can tell we're not going to be cooked in older. <laughs> so we're going to put this in one the in the microwave for 30 seconds. Um, we don't know if putting plastic in the microwave is dangerous. We just. Yeah, that's why we don't want to be cooked in the I didn't know if it was going to fit in there. So. And stop. Hurry up. Yeah, baby. It's not hot and it looks weird. So <laughs> I, I think we put way too much condensed milk in. Do you want to mix it? it? Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. it feels really thick, which I think we've done so right here. It looks good. <laughs> That's not how you do it. I think we need to microwave it a bit more. Yeah. And it also says that you need to microwave it until it's fully melted, but you just do this one to stir it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be back with you until it's really melted. So now we're going to add a bit of vanilla extract. If we um, can actually open it, well, if I can open it. I'm pretty sure you have to like measure it. it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so and we'll pour it over so if it goes out, it goes into the mixture. Don't fill it all the way up, just put a little bit in. Sorry, guys, we, we are not good measurers. So this ends up. That's enough, that's enough! So that's, that's about a tablespoon. Can you think? That it's looks good. Healthy. Let's go, it's there. No, Ellie, no! God! <laughs> so okay, even though that in. extra -ness, we're still going to stick with it. Oh god, this is thick! Ugh. And basically you've got to stir it, um, mm. stir it until it's nice and smooth. Guys, it looks Wait, watch good. this, guys. That is cool. <laughs> what are we going to do? No, no, no. Is we're going to crush the mini eggs in Not the bowl. all of them, though. No, uh, and then we're going to put them in the mixture, stir them in, and then we're going to put some on top after. 
We're not doing that because we can't crush them. No, it turns out mini eggs are solid hard. So we might just put them in the microwave for like five seconds. Hopefully they don't melt. We just want them to be a little softer so then we can crush them. So we managed to crush most of them. And, and now we just kind of. But we had to put it in the mixture for quite a while. And now we're going to mix it some more so that fully mixed in. Hey. Hey. Even though this does not look very good, um, this is what I look like. Except from all the, the chocolate what we got added yeah, in. Yeah, because it was actually mini eggs mixed in. crashed. Like, accidentally melts. melted because we put it in the microwave. We should let them cool for a bit whilst they're crushed. Mm hmm. Whoopsie. Who cares? But, it still look good. By the way, in case you're wondering, um, which you can't see now, if there's butter, we put the butter on there so it helps it stick and you don't put too much, otherwise it overrides the flavour, but it also makes it sweeter. So. Beautiful. So we've made 12 fudges, as you can see. They don't look very appetising like we said earlier, but... They will taste, taste good. good. Time to put these into the fridge. Um, we have a lot of spare... This could get like another two or three more. And so why don't you just eat it? I can't eat it like that. You can, it's just white chocolate. The mini eggs. And... Milk. Yeah, but condensed milk, whatever. So in it goes. Bye bye. And then Until tomorrow. That. We'll see you yeah, tomorrow. so tomorrow we're gonna do a test. So they are now in the fridge and they're now cooling down. We are basically gonna be back. Well, freezing, not cooling down. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, they're gonna freeze into little fudges and then you can eat them. So we'll see you in the morning. We're gonna taste test them. Mm -hmm. so, so it's only been a couple of hours, but they're already quite hard. And we're gonna try one now. I'm gonna try this one right here. So we're back once we've got it out. To get the main Easter egg on top, you are. That tastes like fudge. Really sweet fudge. Mm. <laughs> so good. The mini eggs in it as well. Mm. It's amazing. Okay, that was really nice but really sickly. For so me, it wasn't as sickly, mainly because white chocolate is egg. <laughs> Bay! <laughs> the mini eggs in it though made it amazing. I wasn't able to eat all the whole like. I only had like, a little chunk of it. You can also use different things. Like we run out of mini eggs, so we use little caramel bunny things. Yeah, you can you can like make instead of using white chocolate, we you also can always use like dairy milk to use the Oreo eggs. No, the Oreo eggs you get and the day eggs. I wonder if they have them in America. Mm -hmm. You're missing out. So oh, yeah, that's for American, and you have them in America. So yeah. honestly, it tastes like dairy it's milk really fudge. Nice. Just taste it fudge. Yeah, but a bit sweeter. Not, I, I prefer that one than normal fudge. That's saying something. <laughs> Make sure to like, like, comment, and, and subscribe for more. more. And yeah, make sure to like if you love white chocolate or any chocolate or fudge. And yeah, and bye. Yeah.